Hi guys. Now today I thought I'd do something a little different. A top 10 video. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not really different at all. I've done that heap, so I just said that as a bit of a joke. Oh, what am I talking about? This is a very serious matter. Yes, I've done some top 10 videos before, uh, but I've never done one on what my top 10 favorite episodes of Thomas are. And people seem to like when I do videos like this, uh, so I thought I'd do one now. Plus, uh, I need money to feed my children. Uh, they're, they're so hungry. Please help. Now, there's been a lot of episodes with Tommy Choo Choo. Nearly 540, would you believe? Now, have I seen all of them, you ask? <laughs> yes. Uh, with that many episodes, I've plenty to choose from for this small list. But I think I managed to make one I'm happy with. Now, most of these episodes are ones I enjoyed most as a small B Train fan. And watching them now brings back lots of happy memories. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get on with the list. At number 10, we have Percy's Promise from Series 3. Now, this is one of Percy's best episodes. This character has had a rocky ride over the years, with his character changing every season or so, with him either being stubborn, brave, sensitive, or afraid. I think this episode is where we see the best Percy. He keeps on going through the storm to help his friend. The music, the model work in this episode is also fantastic and creates a superb atmosphere. Uh, and I'll be talking more about these points as the list progresses. Writing this has made me realise how many great Percy episodes there are in the older series. It's too easy to latch onto his portrayal as dumb in the CGI series, but in the older stories he was one of the best characters the series had. At number 9 we have another episode from series 3, and that is Oliver Owns Up. I've always really liked Oliver as a character. Whether it's because I find him relatable, or the fact that he just had some of the best stories, I don't know. I almost think the very first line of narration in this episode is reason enough to love it. On a clear day when the sky is blue, and there is just enough breeze to blow the clouds away, you can stand on the big hill above the valley and watch Duck and Oliver far below, busily at work on Duck's branch line near the sea. I really like the idea of this engine that's had a pretty rough time, yet we still see him having plenty of flaws. Yes, you've survived the scrap heap, but that doesn't mean you can't be an ass. I don't know, I just think it's a very real and human characterization. Uh, Oliver really grows up in series 3 and 4, uh, which I like a lot. Now, and I also really like the crash in this episode, and the fact that it's based off a real accident that actually occurred makes it even cooler. Number 8. Thomas and the Special Letter from Series 4. I always thought of this as a very rewarding episode. We get to see all the engines together going away on this big trip. Uh, the very first scene where all the engines go through the station was one of my favourites as a kid. Uh, mainly because when I first saw it, I didn't know who half of them were. As a child, the story of a child writing to the engines and then getting to meet them was the best thing. And I felt jealous because like, I couldn't meet the trains. I think I love this episode so much because it was just like a dream come true almost. It was like getting to meet the engines yourself. Uh, this episode also has an exceptional crash, one which I very much enjoyed recreating with my own Thomas toys. At number 7, Thomas's Train from Series 1. Absolute classic. Uh, this must have been one of the first episodes I ever saw. I must have seen this episode a hundred times. The story is very simple and the moral is applicable to most children. I don't really have much more to say about this one. It's classic! At number 6 I've got Busy Going Backwards from Series 5. With this one I really liked getting to know more about Toad. Uh, there'd never really been an episode focused on a rolling stock character before this, and it was nice to have him in a lead role instead of Oliver. Like it was nice then, I'm a little tired of it now. Oliver and Toad have a really nice relationship, and they're one of the best duos in the series. This is a fairly typical Series 5 episode with an excellent runaway train and, yes, another great crash. Uh, I didn't see this episode until later in life and seeing it for the first time was a real treat. Number 5 we have Escape from Series 3. Yes, yes, this episode is on everyone's favourite list, but for good reason. Uh, the suspense and atmosphere in this episode is fantastic. 
The end of the line feels legitimately spooky and really far away from the happy soda we all know. It's a fantastic episode for Douglas and for Oliver and Scott. It's just a really happy, rewarding sort of ending. At number four, I have Time for Trouble from Series 3. God, I love Series 3. Uh, this one may seem a little odd to have in my top five, so let me explain. I love the relationship between James and Toby. It's one of the best in the series. What was started in Dirty Objects in Series 1 continues here. They have this sort of soft rivalry, which I love. Toby is just so smug to James, and James is just rude to Toby. Uh, basically, James will say something bad about Toby, he gets his comeuppance, and then Toby's just kind of in his face about it. Um, that's great. Okay, we're into top three now. Let's go. Number three, Rusty and the Boulder from Series 5. <laughs> now, this is such a wacky episode. Uh, it's ridiculous, but so much fun. Everything just gets annihilated in this episode. I mean, the engines barely manage to escape with their lives. Uh, the boulder always creeped me out as a kid, too, so maybe that's why this episode stuck with me. I mean, this is an episode I've watched a lot. Number two is Pop Goes the Diesel from Series 2. Now, Diesel and Duck's rivalry is one of the great ones in the series, and I wish it would be brought back in a new episode. Uh, I'll always remember the scene of Diesel struggling to pull the trucks, and Duck just watching and laughing. But, oh, it's iconic! Uh, this is the episode that also introduces Diesel for the first time, one of the biggest antagonists in the show. While people now may be more drawn to say it's Diesel and Thomas who are the mortal enemies, it was Diesel and Duck at the very start. And here we are at number one. Now, my list changes a lot, but here's what I think my all-time favourite episode would be right now. It is from Series 4, Gallant Old Engine. I always love the fact that it's Scar Lowey telling the story to Duncan, making it seem like it all happened just so long ago in like, the island's history. It's like a history lesson. Like The model work and the music are just fantastic in this episode. Uh, it truly feels like Renaeus is actually struggling through a real storm and that he's all alone. And Renaeus stopped on the loneliest part of the line. Yeah, it's just a superb atmosphere. It, it feels so real. As a, kid watching this it felt like I was watching a real train which is part of the charm of the model series surely uh, like the storm theme is also perfect and it's used perfectly here uh, it captures the feel of struggling on even though you're tired and you don't think you can make it and the episode ends with Renaissance coming home after us the audience learning of the hardships he's been through and what he's done to keep the railway open for all the engines um, he, he does seem like a hero, and it's nice to see him be home again with Scar Lowe. Like, this is definitely one of the best episodes the model series has to offer. And that, my friends, is my top 10 favourite episodes from Thomas the Tank Engine. No episodes from the CGI show, um, because why would I have them? Uh, but what are your favourite episodes? Please leave me a comment down below. I might read it, and I might not. Um, but yeah, open to have discussions about this. I think it's really interesting. Bye.